So now, I'm ready to go to Brazil. That piece of land over there, that's all Brazil. It's quite amazing, like I'm staying in this hotel for 60 euros a night. But not much of a view. I mean, just look at all that garbage. Yeah. So, uh, goodbye. Overpriced room for 60 euros. Hello, cheapness. This is Brazil. My 40, no, my 87th nation awaits. All I need to do is get on one of these boats and I'll be there. Myself on a boat heading out to Brazil. All I need to do now is wait for more passengers. The exciting thing is, safety first. All the boat crossings have taken. Finally, got some life jackets. Heading along the river. France on that side, Brazil's on that side. What a great river to divide two big nations. While I'm at it, I'm gonna get a can of cold coffee. Uh, it's imported from Asia. <laughs> Boys and girls, take your rubbish with you if you can't find a rubbish bin. It's really bad to litter, even in the river. rock and roll. You know, boat on the river, sticks, come sail away. Let me back to my boat on the river. When you fetch out the sing sticks, they really should buy a mandolin. Oh, oh, oh I think that's a French Navy boat. Go in the area. Here I am, that's Brazil, my 87th nation. And look, there's even a hotel up there. I wonder how much it's gonna cost me a night. First thing first, I'll get my passport stamp. So I find the federal police. And once I just dock. I just made it to Brazil, my 87th nation. But I'm not really officially in the country yet. We need to find the police station. To get my passport stamped, uh, just so I can feel let into the country properly. I mean, there's nothing like stopping anybody sneaking in Brazil and just coming back to France. Because <coughs> there's no like French police. <coughs> I mean, there is a French police office up the road, but like you're only required to get a stamp if you're not from the European Union. I mean, I'm still part of the EU until Brexit happens. But the most important thing is I get my Brazilian stamp before I travel any further in the country. Because you get in real big trouble if you don't get a possible stamp in some countries. I haven't heard of an Australian woman who got locked up in Mexico. She didn't get an entry. Gentlemen, Brazil is my 87th nation. Now, when you come into Opiac, you go up the road, you find this monument to commemorate friendship between Brazil and France. And you get your passport stamped right there. They're open from 8 o'clock until 6 o'clock. Just remember that. And when you're coming back to France, give, don't forget your passport stamp to leave. I've just been walking around Opiac. Opiac. I'm not going to say it right. Let's basically say Brazilian frontier with France. And 
there's not really much interesting going on. I mean, there's a big monument with the flag and there, the church. There's another monument to commemorate French and Brazilian friendship. So, I'm going to be here until 6 o'clock tomorrow morning because I really need to get out. Like, I didn't want to get another car today and drive all the way to Macapa. I just needed a day of rest. Akia ACAI for 5 real. And it's pretty horrible. It's like shit. No offense to everyone's out there, but um, I guess I'd say it's good for you. I, I see it getting sold a lot at all the Brazilian shops in London, so yeah, it's just it's just like veg, raw vegetables, you know, you have raw vegetables on the back. Now, you should really check out the road to Macapa. It's just a dirt road. I've seen a lot of dirt in French Guiana.